time last Thursday. The horrible night was unfolding in downtown Dallas. Police everywhere, people running, sirens wailing for hours and hours. Tonight, it is quiet. For the most part, the community is beginning to slowly heal and help the families of the victims at the same time. J.D. Miles live for us tonight over at a massive fundraising event that's happening right now this is, uh, at the Dos Jefes in Uptown. J.D., one of the fallen officers' families was there, or some of the family members were there, we hear. That's right, Doug. The widow of Patrick Zamaripa and her family were here and left to a huge cheer just about an hour ago. But all five officers' families will receive a huge check after a silent auction here featuring local sports stars. Henry Williams and Paul Smythe were like a lot of North Texans who have been deeply affected by the brutal killings of five Dallas officers. It's heartbreaking for everybody involved. All proceeds tonight from your dinner. Tonight, they showed just how moved they were by bidding $19,000 at an auction for dinner with Dallas Cowboys Troy Aikman, Emmett Smith, and Daryl Johnston. I want to show appreciation for what they do. It's very meaningful to me. Hundreds of people wined and dined at this uptown restaurant that included visits from Texas Ranger Derek Holland and Dallas Cowboys Aikman and Johnston. All of the revenue will benefit a public safety charity called Guns and Hoses, which will divide it among the families of the five officers killed. The silent majority has spoken, and the money that we're raising tonight is going to outstandingly be able, for the first time in my career, be able to help these families at a, at, at a number that we never really have anticipated. A silent auction for sports dinners and memorabilia raised the most money. With officers around, as well as victims' families, it made bidders even more generous. It, some of the family members were actually here, made it a lot more personal, to me at least. And uh, I think for all of us, I think it's a great, a great way to show support. Now, the total amount that will go to Guns and Hoses, we've just been told, get this, $280,000. Among the other high bids, dinner with Tony Romo, Jason Witten, Jason Garrett, Sean Lee for seventeen grand. Also, two courtside seats with Mark Cuban. Two men bid $25,000 apiece for those. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. JD.